It's Umsum time! Why are helicopters so noisy? I don't know. Just turn the engines off. Problem solved. Oh, Umsum. The primary reason is blade vortex interaction. Let me explain. Hmm. <laughs> when the main rotor of a helicopter starts rotating, the blade starts spinning. Hmm. Due to this spinning, air pressure above huh? the blades starts dropping <laughs> while air pressure below the blades starts increasing. As a result, there exists a huge air pressure difference. Hmm. Now, air from high pressure area starts moving to low pressure area. This produces a lift which causes the helicopter to rise. Hmm. But it also leads to the creation of various airflows. One of them is a vortex. This vortex is generated by the tip of a rotor blade. When this vortex hits the next advancing blade, the blade vibrates. This is called blade vortex interaction. The vibrations of the blade generate a loud sound. Hence, helicopters are so noisy. Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. How do drones huh? fly? Simple. Like birds, they flap their wings. Oh, Umsum. <laughs> drones commonly make use of rotors to fly. Hmm. Just like a fan, when the blades of a rotor start spinning, they start pushing air downwards. While in response to this, the air starts pushing up on the rotor. Hmm. If the net force generated by the rotors in pushing the drone up is equal to the gravitational force pulling it down, then the drone starts hovering in the air. Hmm. If the speed of the rotation of rotors is increased to such an extent that the net force generated becomes greater than the gravitational force, then the drone starts going up, as in climbing. Hmm. Lastly, if the speed of the rotation of rotors is decreased to such an extent that the net force generated becomes less than the gravitational force, then the drone starts coming down, as in descending. Hmm. How do electromagnets work? Simple. They work because they have a magnetic personality like me. Oh, I'm some. <laughs> the construction of an electromagnet is very simple. A conductive wire, usually made of copper, is wrapped around a piece of metal. In this case, iron. Now, with the help of a battery, a current is introduced. This current starts flowing through the coiled wire resulting in the creation of a magnetic field. This magnetic field magnetizes the iron metal, thus resulting in the creation of an electromagnet. An electromagnet is similar to a magnet. It has two poles. Like poles repel each other while opposites attract. Hmm. It is also able to attract iron filings. Hmm. The only difference is that the magnetism is not permanent. Once the current is removed, Magnetism may stop working suddenly or after some time. Hmm. An electric bell is a good example of the use of an electromagnet. <laughs> hmm.